Shall we get started? On the surface, the show, walking into it, I thought it was about veterans returning home. It is, but it's so much more. What are audiences getting themselves in for with this show? You know, I think to me, it's it's like a throwback to those old school thrillers, those Hitchcockian thrillers where it was, you know, about characters and the secrets and lies that they keep from one another. And if you want to just take a ride on that kind of like Hitchcockian, De Palma-esque thriller, that's, that's what the show is. Homecoming is a safe space to process your military experience and think about what comes next. I got a call from Sam, who I knew a little bit, and was just thrilled. I didn't know, uh, well, I guess I knew that the podcast was being made into uh -huh. something. I wasn't familiar with the podcast, other than I knew it was a sensation of its own making. I was thrilled to come in for these few key scenes. You acknowledge that your participation in the Homecoming Transitional Support Center is voluntary and uncoerced. You learn when you see it all that my character uh, comes into play and then back out in, in, the, in the chronology of the story. Walter, hi. Look, I need to talk to you about something. I literally was so excited every day to show up to work. You know, you show up to work at 7 a.m. and I'm just so excited to see, like, where's Sam gonna put the camera? Is it gonna be in the roof again? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just so many cool sort of shots and I sort of got a feel for the dynamic and the tone of it pretty early on. How do you feel? Happy. The cool thing about this show is it is about veterans coming home and it gets overlooked because everything else is so right. cool about it. Okay. That's a good 